Hey, welcome back guys. So like I said, you have to keep checking your uh, garden or patch, especially if you have a lot of squash, every day uh, when there is a lot of heat and a lot of rain, because as you see, here is another harvest. And if you see, if you've seen my videos over the past few days, this is not the same uh, bundle of vegetables. Uh, this is a new harvest every time. And um, and here's a couple that went too long, just, uh, just just as before so these will end up going to the chickens because you know while i could eat them um once they get this big they're not as uh, good as they are when they're small so uh, we have a lot of squash here um you know more uh, uh zucchini and uh just a couple of pickles and kohlrabi that you know when that gets too big it'll start to burst you know so you want to get that so a lot of the kohlrabi i pick it's i plant a lot of it so i have to pick it before it gets too bad but what I wanted to talk about was not necessarily the yellow squash but what is i deem to be the perfect survival food and that is butternut squash so i wanted to talk a bit about it this is not ready to harvest this has a ways to go while you could eat there are some recipes out there for young butternut squash this is uh, not usually when i harvest it uh, i let it go you know for uh duration and um i think there's some more right there yeah there's another one and uh, I've got quite a bit of it, so I'll just talk about it for a second. It is really easy to grow. Butternut squash, and you see this is all butternut squash right here. There's uh, some flowers forming, which are also delicious as well, if you uh, fry up those flowers. Uh, but I like to keep them just to make sure. Uh, there's more kohlrabi right there. But I like to leave them just to make sure that I get as much butternut squash as possible. And the reason why is that this variety of squash is a summer variety. And by that, it is uh, grown in the summer, yes, but it does not keep long. Here is more butternut. Uh, there's one growing right there. It vines as well. So the concept here with the butternut is that it actually stores all winter. So I've had butternut squash that I have had um, exactly a year literally sitting room temperature well maybe not room temperature but in the coolest spot in my house for a year uh, after it's been harvested so it's referred to as winter squash because it can go all winter very easy to grow look in this one spot here and you see here there's more squash <laughs> that i need to pick there's some yellow squash down there that i need to get as well but here's you know one two there's a third it just vines and grows everywhere it's very easy to grow all of this I was I planted um, just with uh, seed, just direct with seed. Um, so I just sowed the seed into, in most cases, mulch and uh, let it run. It's very resistant to the powdery mildew, so it's very easy to grow. And one of my best suggestions as a survival food is to grow plenty of butternut squash. The reason is it will store all winter long, so you don't have a difficult time storing it. It's very easy to grow for beginners um and it's it's pretty hearty uh as a meal there's all kinds of recipes with butternut squash so um i think i cut that um so uh as far as that goes oh, cool got both of those so as far as that goes um you know butternut squash i can't recommend it enough so grow plenty of it in these tough times you never know what is going to happen towards the end of the year towards election time and to your food supply um, there are still a lot of things that we can plant now uh, so there are actually a, a whole set of fall crops that i'm about to plant and I, I call them fall crops but just things that'll do well as the weather starts to get cooler as well so i'm going to start planting radish and kohlrabi again uh, you know not not just now but let's say in august i'll start planting some more of that so uh, with with the you know idea of harvesting later on in the year but uh, that'll be another video. What we'll talk about now is just the butternut squash, and uh, I love butternut squash, so uh, give it a shot. Have a good one, guys.